What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Teak Life Tasty. This is gonna be the sexiest episode ever. Is that why we got mood lighting? We got the lights down. Brought them down. We got Marvin Gaye playing. Yep. I don't know if they hear it. No, they can't hear it. We got a candle lit. It's about to burn down the set, but it's okay. Yeah. It's sexy. Seductive. Should we get into this? Let's get in it. All right, let's just turn the lights up. Let's get back to normal. <laughs> that was enough sexiness, I think. Yeah, well, it's getting awkward. Right, were you playing footsies? No, I kept my hands above the table. Anyways, we're gonna be trying something today that's a liqueur. This is going to be in the price range of about 35, 40 bucks. Color, okay. unknown. Cause I haven't cracked it open. I've never seen it anywhere. So I don't know what the color is. Hmm. But taste, vanilla, we got some cinnamon going on. One of my favorites, Blood Orange. I'm a big Blood Orange fan. And it has special herbs. Like weed herbs? No. Oh. I don't, is, is weed, yeah, weed is an herb. I don't know. But they have special <clears throat> herbs that adds vigor to your drinking experience. Really? Yep. Vigor. I think we should just un unveil it. So you want to do the honor, sir? All right, let's check this You're out. You're sexier than me. Do it. Let's see. Look at that. So today we are going to be trying Easy Rhino. So it's made, like I said, with some special herbs. And one of those special herbs, which we'll get into in a minute, is horny goat weed. You ever heard of that? No. You don't use it on it that regular? Sounds like an invasive species, though. You know those weeds in your yard that don't matter how much you try to kill them, they just keep coming back? Like, is that goat weed? I just pour gravel in the front yard. I don't even cut grass or anything like that. Uh, okay. The founder is Robert Tushinsky, and he worked with the top herbalists in America to develop this. Really? Yes. I'm really anxious to try it. Um, you know, blood orange, anything with blood orange, I'm looking forward to. Mm -hmm. So while you crack it open, All right. let us let me give them a little bit more about this brand. So it was launched in late 2016. Okay. And it's Robert's uh, company is 2XL Swagger Brands. And they created the world's first gender specific herb infused vodka based liquor. We are drinking out of the Easy Rhino shot glasses as well that they provided. Mm. So I'm, I'm definitely picking up cinnamon. Yes, a lot of cinnamon. Vanilla, I can smell it, which is good. It smells actually pretty good. It really does. You already took a taste. Yeah, you know I can't wait. I know. Um, Premature drink elation. Well. I, guess. I like it. Yeah. It smells phenomenal. Um, you can pick up all the scents that I was talking about. But then I'm getting a little like there's some fireball type, you know those candies, the fireball type candies. I get a little bit of that like with the cinnamon oh, yeah. and stuff. It's interesting. So there's no burn. Mm -mm. I don't I don't feel a burn at all. It's definitely no, a pretty smooth liqueur. Is there anything on the back of it? Um. Adds vigor, vitality, thunder infused into every bottle. So I think that's a good point to talk about the herbs. And the herbs are really important. So I, ha I had to bring a cheat sheet this time yeah. because it's just so much. You're so not an herbalist. I'm, I'm not. I'm not one of the top herbalists in America. There's three herbs that are found in Easy Rhino. So Murapuama is a plant used to prevent sexual disorders and increase interest in sexual activity. So it's basically an aphrodisiac. Okay. Calm down. Ashwagandha improves thinking abilities and helps with trouble sleeping and stress. But it too is thought to increase sexual desires. So is it, is it meant to like make people make good decisions or bad decisions? I don't know. I guess that the beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? True. Last one, epimedium. Now this is where the horny goat weed comes into play. It's also a proven aphrodisiac. It has some properties I guess it's almost like mamawana. Have you had mamawana? No. 
Well, if you don't know about Mama Wana, I did an episode <clears throat> on Teak Life, uh, something new, so you can learn a little bit more about that. But that's also known to be an aphrodisiac. But supposedly the horny goat weed mm -hmm. also helps to increase blood flow to sex organs. So doing the research on these herbs, and like I said, I'm not an herbalist, so I wanted to understand and learn a little bit more about them. Yeah. It seems that a pretty good vodka with some good flavors in it to develop a liqueur, but also, I guess if you're at the club, mm -hmm. you're having a good time, hey, it's got some really potent herbs in it to maybe help you at the end of the night. So it is smooth, like it's it's got a really sweet component to it. I like it. I understand what you're talking about, the candy, because now I taste it a little bit more. Yeah, it was like the second or third sip I took where I was getting that a little bit more, but um, yeah, it's good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with all the herbs and stuff like that. It's the not herbs? something that herbs, you know, uh, <laughs> it's not something that you would really think should be in an alcohol or a liqueur mm -hmm. and actually come out. It, I, I also get a little bit of like black licorice now. So uh, I had a conversation with Robert, you know, the okay. founder of this, and it's, it's a great story. He founded the company, helped develop it, but really, this is an ode to his father. Okay. So a long time ago when he was growing up, his dad used to make this concoction at home. He would see his dad with the vanilla, the cinnamon, the you know blood orange or maybe an orange of some sort, creating this and infusing it with vodka. But Robert, he never knew about these special herbs until he talked to family and came up with it. And that's why it's kind of a family tradition but he's bringing it onto the market as well, which is really cool. Now, Robert is also a philanthropist. So he support you. Are you an animal lover? Love them. They do donations for every bottle sold to certain organizations like the nice. WWF, not the World Wrestling. Right, I got that. Yeah, they, get, they yeah. don't have that anymore. Um, so there's various organizations to help protect endangered animals that every bottle that's sold, actually they, they contribute to which is a great story. I'm, I'm a big animal person, so anytime that you can give back to help protect those endangered animals, like that, that's phenomenal. So, yeah. big supporter there. Absolutely, you gotta support the animals when you mm -hmm. can, give back when you can. I remember you saying something about, you know, when they launched the program or the product, actually. Oh yeah, um, yeah. It went a little bit over the top, yeah. I think. I mean, did I remember correct? You said they took out an ad on the uh, Jumbotron in New York City, right down in the middle of Times Square? Yeah, so, I mean, it was basically some baller stuff. That is, some, that's stuff that you that, would that, do. That, that, that says uh, The Rock and uh, what's his name, like all over it, it right? It does. You know, some ballers. Yeah, he took out an ad on the New York City Jumbotron, and I think it was during like Thanksgiving, so oh. you know it's prime. Yeah. And that's where they kind of release this to the world to get that exposure. So that, that's huge. But you know, with it being a, a, a good liquor, you know, um, on top of it having a great backstory that this is an ode to his father who developed it and it's a hair, you know, it's a tradition in that family, but then also supporting the wildlife. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just, it's, you're doing more than drinking. Because it is a liqueur, it's 70 proof. Yep. So, as you can tell, it's not as strong, but... Wouldn't expect it to be. But, no, yeah. but, you know, I think with this, it would, be, it would make a great mixer. So you can drink it neat, you can drink it on, you know, obviously we drank it neat because yep. we like to get all the flavors, as, as we've said before, but with that, all of the drinks on the website are actually tailored to specific animals. So, really? you know, they'll have like the, like the rhino drink, you know, it's anything that could be endangered. I know, um, uh, I think it's gorillas is, is Robert's favorite animal okay. um, and they're very endangered as well. So it's just, it's a really good theme. So it all ties in. They have like a really good platform. I like it. You know, the, the bottle itself is, is very sleek. It's a really heavy bottle. I mean, well, it's still full. Well, that's, well, it won't be for long. If we look at it from a bar, going into a bar standpoint, you know, it's usually dark in a bar. So you get this on the back wall, mm -hmm. it's going to stand out. It's easy to hold. Mm -hmm. And I know you and I have talked to a lot of bartenders to they get there. They almost their... get upset. Yeah. They pick a shitty bottle out. Yeah. <laughs> and this is easy to pour. So it's yeah. going to be easy for them to grab the neck if they want to or hold from the base. Yeah. The base. 
And I think it just, it does. It's, it's just, it's gonna stand out. It's yeah. so, it's very appealing either in your home bar or going to, uh, like this would stand out, I would wanna ask about it. You know, it's got the, yeah. the male and female signs as well. So that's gonna bring a little bit more visibility to it. It's, it I'm gonna question it. Why is Absolutely. it like that? Absolutely, it's gonna, it's a, it's a conversation starter. Um, totally. And the white is just, I haven't really seen that before. So a rhino, like their horn, yeah. What does the ivory? Is that kind of where we're going with it? I Maybe. wonder if that's what it is. Could be, Robert. If you know why the bottle's white, which I hopefully you do, I think hit you us would. up and let us know. Yeah, let us know. Um, uh, you know, I don't know. Is it something about you know get the light getting through? Who knows? You know, there's all kinds of theories and spirits and yeah. people's heads on why they do what they do with their bottle. Where to get it? You can go to their website. Uh, I believe it's Drink Easy Rhino, and click buy. Or you can go to PassionSpirits.com. Passion Spirits is one of the best places to find hard Passion to get Spirits liquor. Has a lot. They do. I know Anything you you're check looking it for. Out. Check it out. Shameless plug there. I know that it's catered towards you know the male demographic, but I can see women enjoying this. Yeah, it's it's you know universal across across the board because it's such a good flavor. It's got a lot of positives, in my opinion. You yeah, know, we don't really get too many liqueurs that we uh, no. we like. <laughs> <laughs> We've tried a lot of things because they're typically they don't have a great flavor. Um, they don't have a great flavor profile, and then you know, with them not being strong, is we're in toxicologists, right? And the thing that about this one to me, unlike other liqueurs, is that um, it's not real syrupy. Like some of those liqueurs That's a good point. get real, like real syrupy, and yeah. this is this is this is good. It it tastes more or less like a, an infused vodka to me. Yeah. Um, but it just. You know, with some vodkas, it has a burn. Yeah, there's no you know burn. That. There is no there's, burn. There's no burn. You know, it's, I, I imagine what, if you threw this on ice, it would be even even less. Yeah. Even smoother. What's your overall opinion? I like it. I say uh, I approve. Um, I do too. Great story, great product. I definitely say it's Teak Life approved. I, I agree with you. And I, I, there was another thing that you've talked about before is like mimosas or a drink yeah. in the morning. Add a little bit more vodka, just a tad, and some some champagne or, or some other fresh juices. Yeah. And I'm, I'm good to go all day. So I, I think it's Teak Life approved. I really like it. I like the sleek design of the bottle, yep. but I love the message. I really love the fact of the history with his dad, his family, and then also helping endangered species. So this this is fantastic. Yeah, I, I, it's a win all the way around. Um, there's nothing uh, nothing really negative to say about it. No. I was I was pretty surprised, you know, especially when you started out saying this is the horniest episode yeah. ever. I, I didn't know what to expect, but it was uh, you know, it was good. I find things, you know, and we we want to bring them to the light. We want other people to to take notice that there are some great products out there that you just don't get exposed to not exposed in that way gotcha but exposed and this is just one of them hit up you know passion spirits get yourself a bottle and you know also check out their website find out a little bit more about what they're doing but i think it's just completely phenomenal and thank you for the shot glasses so th these are pretty cool yeah. on one side it has easy rhino and what's on the other side it says uh, Pink Kitty. Then it also says in really fine print, please indulge responsibly. Oh, we will. Hmm. Pink Kitty. So I guess they're gonna have to subscribe to the Teak Life YouTube channel to find out what Pink Kitty's all about. So that wraps up another episode of Teak Life Tastings. Be sure to follow us on social media and to contact us, go to teaklife.com, use that contact page. And if you like the episode, make sure you comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until then, we'll see you next time. Damn. Damn. Good. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Let's get the party started yeah. here. Well, you're right. That other part's. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> so that wraps up. <laughs> oh, I'm going again. Yeah. I thought that's why you wanted me to. No, it's, it's you now. <laughs>
is <laughs> like, it, like, I'm good. Well, with I forgot it. what I said.